Hi, this is going to be a demonstration on how to make a surgical face mask out of cloth that's going to be adjustable for many head sizes and it's going to have a pocket that a filter could be inserted into such as a folded up paper towel, tissues or whatever. So the first thing you want to do is have your fabric cut. It's going to be cut 8 inches by 10 inches. I'm going to have three layers of fabric, all the same size. It's going to be side to side, 10 inches, top to bottom, 8 inches. All three pieces, the same size. Once I have the fabric cut, I'm going to remove one of those layers. I'm going to take it and I'm going to turn under twice the edge and sew. And then I'm going to sew the other side the same way, turning that edge under twice. trim off that thread that's hanging from where I stitched. Okay. This is going to be my pocket that the filter is going to go into. So the next step is I'm going to make sure that I have the right side of the fabric facing up on all three pieces. One, two, and the pocket. Now the pocket that I just stitched I'm going to face up the right side. It's going to get placed in the center of one of the other pieces, like so. So both of those are right side up, centered. The next step, I'm going to take that third piece of fabric and I'm going to place it right side down and sandwich that pocket right in between the two pieces, like so. So they're all looking like one sandwich. We're getting there very quickly. So the next step, I'm going to take that 8 inch side and I'm going to start stitching quite close to the edge, but not so close that it's going to come unstitched. I'm going to backspace a little bit there to lock it in. And then I'm going to go around this whole square. Backspace on the corner, turn, and I'm also going to backspace over each area where that stitched up pocket is to make sure it's reinforced, like so. There's the edge of the pocket, so I'm going to backspace, go to the corner. going. Again. Next space. Go to the corner. And then I'm going to stitch about two inches from where I started. Backspace. Okay. This mask is almost finished. Not quite. So, the next step, I'm going to turn this inside out where I left that open. I'm going to look inside and I see the right side of the pocket through there I'm going to put my thumb on that so that it ends up turning into a very nicely stitched square. I'm going to push my finger up into the corners, make sure they get pushed out all the way. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like at this point. You have your pocket on the outside, the seams are down, 
but you still have this little opening where you turned it. So now I'm going to go over to the ironing board that I've already got preheated. And I'm going to, with my fingers, turn that opening in like so. And I'm going to press it nice and flat. Beautiful. Okay, that's how that looks. The next step, and actually the final step of making this mask, aside from the tie, which I'm going to get to in a moment, the way this pocket is, it's going to be an open sleeve, so it looks like this. I'm going to, I just removed that part of my sewing machine so I could have my free arm free. I'm going to slip this around. That's the back of the mask. The front of the mask is going to be the side that does not have the pocket. At this point, I'm going to take those two ends, one at a time, of course, and I'm going to turn it like so. I'm going to backspace over each end to reinforce it. What I'm doing here is creating a casing for string to go through on either side. At the same time I'm doing this, I'm also sealing up that hole. This is the edge where that was. Very carefully to make sure the stitching covers all of the open seams. I'm going to backspace. I'm going to trim my excess thread. Carefully not to cut the fabric. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Turning that towards the front of the mask. Backspace over the end, make sure it's secure. Creating a nice, clean casing for the string to go through. Now, that is a very, very simple mask. It's going to be adjustable. Next, I'm going to show you how to insert the tie. You can use any number of things to use for the tie. I've used long shoelaces, I've used any kind of cord that I have, bias tape. In this case, for this purpose, I went ahead and made my own string out of the same fabric because you can do that too. I did that ahead of making the video to have it all ready. It was just a, a thin strip of fabric that I sewed over and stitched to make it nice and clean. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a safety pin through the end of that tie, like so. That's going to give me something to grip. Now I'm going to lay my mask. I'm going to start feeding through that casing, one end. Okay. Very quick, very simple. By the way, that tie should be about 45 to 55 inches long, depending on what you have available. I've even used longer. I'm going to pull it through, and then I'm going to come back in on the same side as the other side came out, as you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to demonstrate how this goes on in a moment. I'm going to feed it through. This is how it's going to look when you get it fed through. almost looks like an apron. Okay, so I'm going to remove my safety pin here. I'm going to demonstrate now how this mask will go on. What you're going to do, this is your finished mask by the way, what you're going to do is you're going to Hold it so that that pocket side is facing your face. The pocket side goes towards your face. The double layer side goes out away from you. So I'm going to pull it long enough so that this is going to fit over my head. The top loop goes over my head like so. I'm going to hold these strings and they're going to go over my ears like so. I'm going to position the mask above my nose. where it's comfortable. 
and then I'm going to pull that drawstring. My hair is kind of in the way. So now I'm holding that tie behind my neck. I'm going to make it nice and snug. And you can tie it in a bow, a knot, or whatever you want to do. It'll stay snug. This is fitting very snugly against my face. You can see how it fits around the ears and in the back of the neck. It's very comfortable. There's plenty of breathing room. And that's it. The only other thing I'll say is one option instead of tying. I'm going to show you on another mask I made. Instead of tying that back, you can also use a toggle like this that'll just draw up right to the back of the neck. This is the same mask, only in a different fabric. I used a shoelace for the tie on this one. And there you have it. That's a mask that will fit any number of people. Hope you enjoyed this video.